G'day everybody. Well, for this video we're going to find out what happens when a busted 35 watt SOX lamp and my recently acquired Sylvania 400 watt sill flood meet. I don't think it'll do much, but it's still going to be interesting one way or another. So sit back and watch the show. Okay, so here's the setup. I've taken the metal halide bulb out of the sill flood. And I've just put a dummy cap in there with a couple of wires soldered to it. This is an E40 socket by the way. And these wires then go to a B22D fitting. Which is what's then attached to the SOX lamp. I'm going to put some power to it and see what happens. Alrighty. Let's turn some lights off so you can see it. And uh, let's put some power and see what happens. Ooh. Pretty colours. Seems to be handling that quite well. Some of it's going through the electrodes, but it's mainly uh, lighting up at the back end there. Interesting. Leave it like that for a bit to see how long it lasts. How's about that? My autofocus actually works. The worst it'll do is just heat up and then probably just crack the glass and let the uh, let the air in. I mean, it's not heating up at all. That's 400 watts going through it. <coughs> it seems to be handling it quite well. But this was uh, in a second Thorn Beta 5 that I bought. That's actually in commission. I'll show that a bit later on. I'm using that as a yard light out side the uh, my shed and unfortunately they didn't package the lamp properly and it broke didn't crack the outer envelope as you can see but it busted the arc tube up so I got another lamp for it got it got it all working but I just figured I'd uh, nuke this old one before I bust it and dispose of the sodium which that'll be another video as well it's doing pretty good It's not flashing over or anything, which is also interesting. Doesn't seem to be mining that at all. Let's turn some other lights off. Just jump in the hole a second. That's better. You can see it now. It really doesn't not seem to be mining that very much. no sodium either in there it's still a dark orange color it's no sodium for it to really vaporize and well, it's almost like a bit of a plasma globe when you touch it oh, look at that be a little, tiny bit of earth leakage I can't even feel it That's taking it surprisingly well. I was hoping it'd go pop, but oh well. I'll blow it up another day. Anyway, that'd probably be enough of that. It's really not doing anything. Shut it off. Yeah, a little bit of a discharge from the cat. Doesn't look like it's damaged it either. Chuck the lights back on. Excuse my dodgy camera work again. Yeah. Really doesn't look like it's done much. There's a bit of sodium in the end there. But other than that, it looks alright. 
Anyhow, that's what happens when you put a 35 watt broke in a low pressure sodium lamp on a 400 watt floodlight. Really not much. Oh well, apologies for the disappointment, but uh, we'll do something else that's fun with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And here's the other Beta 5 that I've got set up as well. It's got a Philips tube in it. And there's a, uh, that's varnished wood by the way, so that's not going to rot. That's pretty damn sturdy. I'm pull on it a bit and it doesn't move. That's my, uh, that's my yard light. The photo cell works. Thanks for watching.